Coming up on the paper talk today, we'll be looking at what is going on with Eric Ten Hag's backroom staff. It looks like one Manchester United legend, I may as well tell you, because you know anyway, Ruud van Nistelrooy is going to be returning to the club. Also another coach as well, joining his backroom staff, but a coach is going out the door. So there's big changes there in the backroom staff and it looks like this is being driven by Eric Ten Hag, which makes sense. He wants the staff that he wants and not lust look, no one's going to moan about the fact that a manager's getting the coaches he wants, especially if one of those coaches is arguably the greatest goal scorer the Premier League has ever seen. So we'll get into all that as well. Plus, where would we be without some transfer news? It looks like we could be losing a couple of wingers, Jaden Sancho and Mason Greenwood, linked with moves away from Old Trafford. I think that makes sense for everyone, so we're getting into that, just what is going on there. Plus, we've got the obligatory, because it is obligatory at this stage, isn't it? The obligatory Marcus Rashford to PSG rumours, because we keep hearing these rumours every time I say, oh, it doesn't look like like anything's going to happen here. This is just what looks like a load of nonsense. More stories come up about Marcus Rashford potentially going to Paris. So we'll be getting into all that. Plus, there's another couple of rumours, rumours, stories doing the rounds on potential incomings. So we'll be getting into that as well. There's loads of stories to get through. So let's get into it. <laughs> Jay here straight for Paddock. This is the paper talk. As you can see, I'm outside Old Trafford and the weather, it's just cleared up actually. Producer Spencer got sh shoked, that's not a word, soaked. But now it's not sun shining, but you might still need your parkers, just not with your rods up. Oh, we'll get into it. Loads of stories to get through. Before we do, make sure you are hitting like, share and subscribe. I want to get to, or we as a channel, want to get to 800,000 subscribers by... I don't know, by the beginning of the season, and with your support, we can get there. We've already smashed through the 750,000 mark. Uh, big changes going on with the coaching staff. Now, we had this story yesterday. We were chatting about it on Off The Bar. The fact that Ruud van Nistelrooy, probably the greatest striker the Premier League has ever seen, is returning to Old Trafford. It looks like that is going to happen uh, as part of Eric Ten Hag's coaching staff. Fabrizio Romano tweeted it yesterday. He said that United plan to bring Ruud van Nistelrooy and Rene Harker, I think is how you pronounce it. Forgive me if I'm getting that one wrong. Go ahead, Eagles, as part of his coaching staff. He went again with this yesterday evening, saying that this is going to happen. It's not just a plan, it is going to happen. That Ruud van Nistelrooy and René Harker are going to join Eric Tenard's coaching staff here at Manchester United. Now, Andy Mitten last night did an article and also tweeted about it, of course, saying that Benny McCarthy is set to leave Manchester United's coaching staff. So there's a big change going on in the, the backroom staff. And all this seems to be led by Eric Ten Hag in terms of bringing in the likes of Van Nistelrooy and bringing in René Harker as well. This doesn't feel like these are sort of decisions being imposed upon him by Ineos. It feels like the manager is happy and wants these players or these ex-players and these coaches to join his staff. And it makes sense because I don't think you can just force a manager to work with people he doesn't want to. He's obviously had a little bit of a change here. Players or people that he knows, coaches that he's worked with or coaches that he's obviously has some sort of connection with as well. It can only be a positive. Listen, I'm not going to moan about Ruud van Nistelrooy coming back to Old Trafford. One of the greatest strikers I've ever seen. I think he brings something to this backroom staff as well. He obviously knows the club. He's got a good pedigree as a coach, an even better pedigree as a player and obviously can work with Eric Ten Hag and hopefully get Manchester United challenging the sort of way we challenged when he was playing here. He obviously smashed in a load of goals. He won a title here as well. Probably didn't win as many trophies as he should have done, Ruud van Nistelrooy. And that might sound crazy when he won a title here, but he scored loads of goals here. I think he won one title, didn't win the Champions League. Went to Real Madrid and didn't win the Champions League at Real Madrid. If you look at his career, during that time, to be at Manchester United and Real Madrid, during that sort of period in the, in the noughties, and not win a Champions League is a little bit unlucky, to be honest with you, especially when you're absolutely smashing all the goal-scoring records. I think he ended up scoring... I can't remember the figure. Was it? Was it? I always get it mixed up, but it was a lot. I think it was like 40 goals or something, 44 goals in one season or something like that. You know the stats. Go and check them out. I should know them off the top of my head. But yeah, he absolutely smashed it at Manchester United. Smashed it everywhere he went and hopefully he can do so as a coach. In terms of the uh, playing staff, what is going on there? It looks like there could be a little bit of sort of movement with the likes of Jaden Sancho and Mason Greenwood. We ran the story on Transfers Live that Mason Greenwood could be headed to Marseille. There's a story in the Metro backing that up up saying that he would like to go there we'll have to wait and see whether they're going to come in with a concrete bid for him there's lots of sort of rumors reports that Manchester United are holding out for 40 million pound whether the Marseille are going to pay that we'll have to wait and see it might be some sort of deal where it's like 20 or 30 million with add-ons 
if he if he hits 20 goals, if he hits how many many goals and appearances, they'll get more money. I think Manchester United needs to resolve this. I spoke about it a lot. I'm not going to repeat myself, but something needs to be done because it is dragging on. And obviously, you go to pre-season in about two weeks. You can't just leave it up in the air then. A decision has to be made one way or the other. Also, with Jadon Sancho, he's another player whose decision is uh, or future, sorry, is up in the air for different reasons, of course. Now, according to a couple of reports this morning, he could be heading back to Dortmund. But this reply, this relies, sorry. A Dortmund selling Kareem Adiebe, Adiebe, no, Adiebe to Juventus. They're interested in that winger. If he leaves and goes to Juventus, then maybe Dortmund can bring in Jaden Sancho for around 35, 40 million, probably closer to 35 million, to be honest with you. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that one. Would make sense all around if we can get Jaden Sancho back to Dortmund. He obviously had a good time there last season, getting to the Champions League final. Doesn't look like he's got much of a future here, having fallen out with Eric Ten Hag. I can't see him playing under the manager. Even if the manager was to have gone in the summer, which obviously he's not going to, but even if he'd have gone, I don't think Jadon Sancho has a future at this club anyway, because I think his reputation here isn't great. If he can go back to Dortmund, that probably suits everyone all around, especially if you can get a few quid in for him as well. You get a few quid in for Mason Greenwood, a few quid in for Jadon Sancho. That could fuel some transfers. One player who has been linked with the move again, is Marcus Rashford. I think Talk Sport running with this one, saying that he could be going to PSG, that PSG have got some interest in him. Now, I keep hearing is Marcus Rashford to PSG rumours. And that's all it seems to be at the minute, is rumours. I don't see anything concrete in the stories that PSG want Marcus Rashford. A few years ago, there was obviously something in it. Now I'm not so sure. I think a lot depends on whether Marcus Rashford really wants to move from Manchester United. If he sort of bangs on the manager's door and says, look, I want to go, then maybe something can happen. But I'm not sure he's going to do that. And I'm not sure how realistic it is that PSG are going to come in and pay the sort of money right now as it stands that Manchester United would want from Marcus Rashford. So put a pin in that one for now. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't even think it should happen. I know a lot of people have had enough of Marcus Rashford and think, oh, we need to get moving on. He's not happy and all the rest of it. I understand that. And I think maybe the manager has to have a conversation with him and say, what's going on? You don't look happy, but I still think there's a player there. And I think his record, whilst it's been patchy, especially last season, it's still a very good record. He scored over 20 goals twice, I think, since he's been here. He scored 30 goals in a season as well. He scored some big goals. Even last season, when he didn't have a great season, he scored against the likes of Liverpool, the likes of Arsenal and Manchester City, of course, as well. So even a misfire, Marcus Rashford still offers you something. And also, I think we've got more pressing issues over on the right-hand side of attack without throwing a spanner in the works on the left-hand side. You may disagree. One player we've been linked with is Dan Undoy. This is the player from Bologna. He's uh, away with a Swiss. Swish. That's not, that's not the right word. Uh, the Swiss team at the minute, uh, there's reports that Manchester United could be interested in him. Doesn't seem like there's anything too concrete there. As always, if anything happens, we will keep you posted. We're going to be back later on with the brew. Uncle Webby is coming back on the brew, so there's something to look forward to. If you're not doing already, go and check out Off the Bar from yesterday. Myself, Stephen Housen, Adam McCullough and Joe Smith. And make sure you are hitting that subscribe button. I've been Jay Motte. This has been The Paper Talk. Thanks for watching.